Okay, so this feature is going to focus on our new analysis chart type, which is auto-generated from the Insight Advisor. Now keep in mind there are some settings under the covers, such as within the logical model. We have our calendar period set up. We have certain behaviors set up. We also have our fields and groups set up. In this case, I'm using a measure called loose price, and we are automatically defaulting that to average in this case here. So when you do your searches within the Insight Advisor, it produces the significant results that you're looking for. Now in this case here, I'm just gonna focus in on a measure called loose price. As you guys know, I like to use my video game collection data. Uh, and this is just looking at the data values within my collection. And loose price is a value of a particular game or a console or accessory that doesn't have a box or a manual. So just by selecting that, we're gonna produce those results. And the Insight Advisor produces a KPI, and being that we set up our behavior and our calendar period, you can see we're automatically looking at this price or average price of everything that's in the inventory versus uh, last year's average price of everything in the inventory. Now, this is good under the covers, but you know we're not done with 2021, and you know we're looking at these particular prices. It's not giving us that much information. Wouldn't it be nice if we could actually see like the daily values per quarter, per month, per year uh, com with comparison of this year and last year. So you can see we have a new chart type here showing us that information. Let's expand it. And you can see in this case here, we're looking at the average loose price of 2021 and now the average loose price of 2020. And you can kind of see those relative results and you can see exactly where we are today at this point. So this particular chart type uh, basically provides you a lot of information up front and it's auto-generated. That's the other key part here. I mean, you can see there's almost, you know, over a thousand dollars in value that has gained um, in that collection from this time last year. So that is some significant insights brought to your attention uh, front and center. Now, the other part of this new feature that we've added also is the ability to change the analysis periods. So you can see here, now you have these little drop-down boxes where you can change the years from the data and look at different comparison time periods. You could also select the different calendar periods that have been set up. So here we're looking at year calendar P. Well, now I wanna look at quarter calendar P. In this case, that's the name of my calendar period. And you can see last year during this quarter, when compared, in this case here, we're looking at 2021 Q3 and 2021 Q2. Now, if I wanted to change this to 2020, Q2, and we can see the difference in the growth from those calendar periods. So now you have this option here to choose those two time periods from these drop-down boxes, as well as select uh, the different calendar periods that you have. So some new features added to Inside Advisor uh, that basically allow you to look at your calendar periods at different levels, showing you the daily progression across quarter and month and year, et cetera.